Hey guys, it's me, Jack 24 here. As promised in the last video, I'm going to be making a hell of a boss, boss uh, reaction video for Wednesday's video, which is today. And yes, I did double check the calendar. Yes, today is Wednesday. And no, I'm not going to be uploading any more late videos. And yes, I swear I'll get more, more videos of the dogs. But anyways, so for those new to Mini Raid R, uh, pretty much this is my series where I age restricted videos because this is where I get react to more content that's more made for adults and typically my channel is for early, for teenagers just starting YouTube or preteens just starting YouTube so I essentially create a mini radar just to allow myself to have a chance to explore some of the more adult-themed stuff on YouTube, because some of it is fun to react to, other stuff of it of it isn't, but at the same time, though, it's my channel, and I needed a break from doing a lot of kid-friendly stuff, you know, it's like every now and then I need a little break, break, and yes, yeah, so there will be cursing in this video, video, a lot, some form of sex, Sexual jokes are going to be made in a lot of adult themes, so if you're under the age of 14, 14 or, 14 or so, please get out of the video. As I had to make sure extra careful for when I did the Spring Broken reaction to get anyone under 18 out, or 16 depending on the country that you live in, but out because that featured succubuses and, well, if you know the thing about them, uh, yeah, they happen to be the ones about lust. So, anyways, so, if you're under the age of 15, uh, 14, please get out. Please get out of the video, but other besides that, that's about always the warning you're going to get. Uh, before I begin the actual reaction, just going to say, I usually typically start off these videos complimenting on, the uh, what do you call it, uh, Damn it, I, f I forgot what the... Uh, uh, damn it. Uh, what is it called? I had it on the tip of my tongue. Oh, uh, what is it called? Give me a sec, go come to me. Oh, episode, it's the art style for throughout the... No, no, it's, uh, what, what do you call it? Damn it, I had it, like, on the top of my head. Uh. Oh, episode poster for the episode. That, I, I believe that's what it's called. Because at the current moment, I'm kind of having a huge-ass brain fart at the moment. So, I'm a bit, a bit, uh, how do you say it? Uh. Oh no, now I remember. This is the title card. No, I no, this is the title. No, ep No, this is the episode uh picture. Not a picture for an episode, but a picture overall trying to show what the episode would be about. And excuse me for a moment, guys. I forgot that yeah, that yeah, my spring allergies are still affecting me. So, give me a sec. Sorry about that, guys. Just got back. Tell is uh, my spring allergies are killing me, and I honestly forget that I need need a uh, tissue tissues and towels with me because my nose becomes a machine gun. Without any further ado, beautiful beautiful artwork for for the cover page. <sighs> I really wish I can facepalm myself as hard as I want to. He's now I just remembered what it was. It was the cover page. Anyways, uh, let's begin. Uh, not... Ooh, um... Uh, one, one more thing. Uh, all copyright belongs... Belongs to... Belongs to Vizipop. All of the music right belongs to Perry Grip. And who else? Who else? And, oh, and all of the access media stuff that's... Having me to cut out portions of the video, uh, that belongs to Screenwave Media, and you can thank them for 
making me cut out portions of this video, which I know that are going to do, otherwise I don't get a chance at some form of monetization. Anyways, uh, let's begin. Alright, so, just a typical warning. The following cartoon contains graphic violence, strong language, sexual themes, flashing lights, as as well as rampant demon horniness, and yes, it's intent, uh, intended for mature or audiences. Viewer disc <laughs> discretion is advised. Anyway, so for y'all under under fourteen, remember out of here, out of this video. I do not want to get in trouble. Anyways. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. When? First of all, I forgot that this episode started off with them. Them after that they got just got done with the fucking. So, yeah. I forgot about that. This happens. It's not really something I fuss about. But do you really need the book for this farm bullshit? I have like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. At least business is rolling, Blitz. Shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually incredibly important. And it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty imps like yourself. Oh. The Harvest Moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very charming little festival with the locals. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred chuckle fucks. Oh! Well, I mean, he did say that he was at Wrath for, for a few horse riding lessons in Spring Broken, but granted, that could have been... It couldn't have really have been that much of a visit for him to actually get a feel for the place because it doesn't sound sound like he's actually spent time there, only just there to try to get horse riding lessons and nothing else. But it seems like he hasn't really spent time to know know much about it. Don't you all join me at the festival? I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> Thank God for censorship from down greater. Otherwise, I wouldn't be stuck. No, wait, at a sec. No, that's what the fanfic comics are for. Oh, crap, I forgot that they existed. Why did my brain have to remember that? Oh, now looking at the screen, now I remember why I remembered that. We're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-time thing we did badly. I'm simply offering a work-free day of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. It's the same every year. Well, if you promise this isn't some fuckfest invite, it does sound like it could be a blast and a half. Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. Oh, I'm sorry your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck my clients. Well, at least that... At least Blitz knows that... That, yeah. Yeah, that his clients are pretty much just people. Either good or bad, but either way it's hell. And as we can see, the fizzle only bought from episode two. Yeah, this confirms that yeah, it's a sex, a sex toy. But granted, we already covered that in episode two. But let's continue. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera, I see, Moxie. What do you want, sir? Wake him off. How would you and Mills want to visit the Wrath Ring for some harvest bullshit this year? The Harvest Moon Festival! Gee fucking all! <sighs> Just gonna ask, do they have that many different clothes? I, I know it's a cartoon and all, but do they actually have different amounts of clothes? Because it's only very rarely we get to see them outside of their work outfits, which I don't think those are mandata mandatory uh, unit mandatory uniforms or outfits for them, but either way, I guess it's whatever floats your boat. Well, Millie likes the idea. Wait, where are you calling from? Mm-hmm. Of course. Aw. In case you guys didn't hear, 
when he did this, he made a little purring noise. Hold on a sec. The idea. Wait, where are you calling from? Mm -hmm. Of course. So I see this is a little tear shape. Usually, whenever I see this in animation, typically either the character character is either embarrassed or or has just been dumbfounded extremely heavily. Either way, that might just be because I ain't good with recognizing animation, but when it does this, uh, yeah, he makes a little purring noise. Yeah, well, Edward Bosco, nice to see you again. And hello, Millie's mom. Millie, I'm sorry, but yeah, your your mom's hot. Sorry about that, but yeah. I'm good, Pa. Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree. It's no trouble. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. Freelance pays fine, Ma. We're doing fine. It's fine. Anyway, y'all remember my husband, Moxie. <laughs> Greetings, Lynn. Joe, how have you been now uh, with all the flaming twisters and stuff? Or These are demonic flaming twisters, as I made a mention in uh, my episode one murder family reaction that, yeah, that... Uh, that human fire or fire from the mortal world doesn't hurt them, but demonic fire hurts them. We lost our old foghead to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> oh, oh, crumbs. My bad. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to open that wound, sir. Hey, watch it. I'm the sir here, bucko. Well, at least Wound has got the idea of... Actually... I've heard in one of the, their recent live streams that Luna's like, what? I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, now I remember. Uh, 22, so. Yeah, so she's not that far off. Off from how people think that that 22-year-olds kind of act. But also, it's finally, it's nice for me to actually see all of them wearing different clothes for once. Because honestly... Seeing the same clothes on characters just makes me feel, uh, what, what do you call it? As if the budget, budget or animation team are a bit scared to challenge themselves a bit. But that's, or that could be a budget issue. I, I don't know. I'm not complaining about it. It's just my personal preference. Yeah! Y'all haven't met my boss Blitz and his hellhound. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. She ain't wrong, but she ain't wrong, but she ain't wrong, and she ain't right. Oh, I'll take, take, take your bets right there. Y'all don't deserve to know my name. It's well, and Luis Luna's got the correct golf attitude. Pleasure to finally meet the sperm and egg factory that popped out this little gem of an assassin. You two raised a sturdy bitch. <laughs> that we did. So, Blitz is it? <laughs> That's a fine name. It reminds me of war. Uh, nothing like a little war to make a strong man. I well, I mean, Blitz is actually the fun little behind the scenes fact. I actually learned this well through a couple of other reactions like a year ago or so. Or however long it's actually been since I've seen the reactions. Most likely for the Harvest Festival, like, yeah, and most like a year ago. As I remember that this is probably the time era where I started watching the episodes as they came out. So, yeah, so from one of the reactions I learned that Blitz's name actually comes from the word Blitzkrieg, which is German for Lightning War. And yeah, it's a tactic in World War II, which I have kind of covered before, oversimplified, but... Uh, yeah, so... Essentially, yeah, Blitz is a poor, is not that far off from war. Like you people. You know, more battles were won by technological advances in warfare. I've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring how, for example, the progression of gun... 
technology can be seen. Hold on a sec, someone's calling me. Hold on, oh, I'll just to tell them, uh, thing. Give me a sec. Just had to make sure that they knew that I couldn't, couldn't be at the phone right now. So yeah. Anyways, uh, where were you? The landscape of hell's combative. I mean. Well, at least she know. At least Millie knows. Knows to kind of stop Moxie from talking about the technological advances in war, but yet both he and Millie are from the left ring, as he mentioned. As Blitz mentioned, so seems like the countryside. Seems like the con if you excuse me for a sec. Anyways, sorry about that. I'm just uh, want to be ignoring the text from that person for a bit. Well, until the video's over, but uh, besides that, uh, yeah, so it seems like the countryside of Raphims, mainly Millie, Millie, Joe, and Lynn are more into the physical aspect of war. Well, it seems like the city Raphims, like Moxie, seem to be more into the technological advances of war, but they still have a strong passion for war. War fun! Guns get the job done, but a man ain't nothing if he can't tear the head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. <laughs> he ain't wrong. He's right, Moxie. You got cute with your baby hands like your baby did. Refrain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a running joke that Moxie's got a not a baby dick. Well, I'm sorry that your boss has to humiliate you with that, but granted, uh, yeah. We don't know the truth, but granted, since we know Blitz has, you know, I've seen them a few times, maybe, uh, with or without their clothes on, because he's a bit creepy like that occasionally, so, yeah, it might not so it might be more truthful than what he's wedding on. Speaking of strong hands, y'all should meet our newest hill. Hey, Striker! Well, howdy. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from your folks, little... Wait, Mildred? Is that what Millie's really short for? Well, honestly, I'm surprised, but... Yeah. Anyways, I do know, yes, that Shriker's voice actor is someone from The Walking Dead. I'm not sure why that fact really stuck with me. I don't even like The Walking Dead. Mainly because I hate zombies, but we'll get that into another video. <laughs> what are y'all doing so far away from Imp City? Huh. Free work and finally slowing down. Oh no, freelance isn't free. It's a no. <laughs> well, that's explaining it about as well as you can. We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. Bah. Wow. Honestly. I think Blitz has a bit of a soft spot for Millie, but not one for Moxie. But either way, yeah. Huh? Oh, so you're the bold imp to start his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. He's not wrong. Capitalize that sign that you're good at. That's how you make money. How many imps start businesses on their own? That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh. Yeah? It is? I, I guess... 
I guess it is, isn't it? So you even conned that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. But he's not like, you know, we're, we're not, like, we're not doing a... We, the, what's between... It's a transactional fucking, you see. Nope! Yeah. I feel bad that Mo that Moxie and Millie's got to... For a second, my water bottle kind of scared me. So I just looked over my shoulder and just saw it. Saw it, like, sitting on the edge. I forgot that I placed that there, and that kind of just startled me for a sec. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um... Uh, Moxie and Millie have to feel bad having to hear Blitz trying to explain that to Stryker. You boys should enter the pain game. I mean, every harvest festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bastard in Raya. Yeah, wish I could play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware, but I only caused nine of them. How come Sally Mae still gets your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. She so does. It doesn't count if they don't find the body. Honestly, I kind of like the boink, the boink demon thing here, but yeah. But my guess is that that's a dummy, but first of all... You know, she can ask... It's a roof for her. It doesn't count if they don't... Sally Mae here. So, I've heard from both confirmation from the creators, and from other reactors, and from Cartoon University does a lot of in-depth lore study of this universe, and other universes as well, but pretty much, yeah, Sally Mae's confirmed to be trans, so yeah, I'm happy that she, she found her place. And yes, it's also an indication for imps, it's important for the horns, as the females have... Shorter horns with little, with blacker horns with little lines, while male imps have, have, uh, larger, whiter horns, as you can see with Moxie and Blitz. Blitz and Joe, Joe and I guess Sally before the transformation. And also, yes, I do know that Sally Mae is played by a trans voice actor, so yes. So yes, am proud, proud that... A lot more the LGBTQ communities getting represented in my favorite series. Well, favorite YouTube series is Has Been Hotels yet to been released, and I'm hyped for it. Find the body. Still, you get to root for her and your brothers, and now you can cheer on your boss. You know, she can also cheer for me. <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah. Uh, Moxie, I hate to bring this out, but... Bud, take a look at your arms. Take take a look at them. And then take a look at Joe's arms. Or Ed's arms. Is I'm going to be referring to Edward Bosco as, as well. Well, the voice actor is Edward Bosco. I'm going to be referring to any character that I know that, that he plays as Ed. Because, quite honestly. And honestly, he also plays probably the, my most... The fan favorite of Has Been Hotel, Alistair, so yeah, that's probably why. But anyways, I have heard him and other media long before, long before I even heard of Hell of a Boss but, and Has Been Hotel, but yeah, I didn't know it was him at the time, but man, he's got, he's very good at his job. I can compete, can't I? <laughs> uh, nope, you ain't. You ain't made. But I don't think sensitive thespian types would last very long in the games. I was born here, too. I have some fat in me. Huh. Well, then, little fella, why don't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? That's a demonic boar. First of all, I would love demonic pork. Second of all, I would probably hate it. But I need to ask, does it have any game taste to it? Because if it does, I might not like it, but... Either way, I would love to try it though. Simple. Watch me. Nah, with these, bullets can't pierce a shell. You gotta get the knife underneath and pry yourself an opening. Oh, right, right. I. Yeah, uh. At least Striker is being nice to Moxie. 
quote unquote nice. Now just remember, you're rep with the in-laws on the line here, so no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass of yourself in front of everyone important in your life. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> well, which that's a good way to describe his scenario and a good way to demoralize him right before he does it. thing to say right next to his wife, Blitz. And I can see uh, Wynn is interested in it, and so Striker, Luna's filming it. Classic Luna. Uh oh. Uh, ah. Man. I really ate my spring allergies. They suck. I gotta be stuck with all the sneezes in the world, and yet mine happens to sound pretty loud and annoying. And man, it hurts my nose. But I'm doing this so I can breathe. Doing great, Moxie! Send me that video later. Aww. Ow! My clavicle! A clavicle? Uh, hold on a sec. Is that a bone or a collarbone? I need to check. All right, so other size that someone texted Don't me. Don't worry, little one. You never stood a chance. Striker. He he had it down, but yeah. Hey, boss man. You want to help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. What who? <laughs> Yeah, I always love those that's what she said jokes. I, I love them so much. You don't know how many I make. You don't know how many my friends get pissed off at. But, yeah. Uh, either way, uh, yeah. Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? Weird thing to say next to your daughter that's a hellhound. And hellhounds are... Are, uh, yeah. Are basically a canine, so yeah. By a legal standpoint and by a species standpoint. And since hellhounds are typically depicted as being nearly related to wolves. To wolves, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, and wolves, and wolves are, are the direct ancestors of dogs, so... Another name for a female dog is a bitch, so... Yeah, you just called your own daughter a bitch without realizing it. Well, it's, yeah, that kind of sucks. <sighs> don't let him get to you. And hey, you don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. Now they won't. What? Well, Sally, you're about to experience a pretty pissed off sister. I can tell you from experience, it ain't fun. Right, ain't I? Oh, I'm entering those games. <sighs> How pissed would you be if I bet on him dying? Pretty pissed, but... Yeah. But at the same time, I would still like to see on how dying for the demon imps, for the demons work in this universe, though. I get for the sinners with the angelic weapons their bodies remain, but... 
but at the same time, I'm interested to see if anything happens to the to the natural born demons too. Time for the games to begin, but first of all, as you clearly saw on this, Wally Wackford is there, so we shouldn't be surprised with this by episode 7. Yes, anyways, uh, besides that being the point, uh, let's continue. Well, that shark is doing quite good. Oh, actually, there's an interesting detail that I didn't notice. Is that immediately after, Blitz looks shocked and Stryker turns around for a pose right before Moxie gets bitten by the shark. I can see Stolas is having the time of his wife, seeing his boyfriend mud wrestling with another boy. It's equally <laughs> strong, strong, handsome. Yeah, so I can see this can be a thrill for Stolas. Wackford is obviously a bit confused, but hey, I don't judge. Richard, look out! It is the shark! Quick! Quick! Move before it does! Agreed! Agreed, Richard Orvitz! You got fucked by it by a shark that did an elbow drop on you! Granted, I know sharks in the real world don't necessarily have much bones. I know they got cartilage, but... Uh, yeah. I don't think it would be the same for demonic sharks, though, so... Moxie, I feel like you might be a bit more fucked than usual. Moxie, you just had to say that, didn't you? And Shriker knows it because he just heard it. Quite honestly, as some of you guys may not notice, but I have a, I have a hard time reacting to songs, songs and videos, hence why I haven't uh, done Has Been Hotel yet. I'm fine with Alistair's offer, but I'm not fine with every inside of every demon's a rainbow. Is that kind of awkwards me out far too much, but other right, besides that I do appreciate it. Anyway, so let's continue. Take this opportunity to sing a quick song I wrote just now about me winning. Yeah. What the fuck? Sweet I smell the snack. Hold on a sec. Give me a sec. Yeah, her tail is a heart, in a heart shape, and even the little white bruise mark thing, which, yeah, the white marks on imps are, are healed scars, so, are in the shape of a heart. Well, she got kicked. Oh no, another cowboy in the sky. Only if I can edit, I can have a singing battle between him and the other cowboy in the sky. In case you don't know, the other guy screams. Isn't this guy great? Boss! Oh, it's gonna be nice working with him. Working? What? Yeah! I asked him if he wants to join IMP. You asked? But... Max, I think you've had enough for now. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. Oof. Yeah. 
million marks he just heard dead in plain ear view and he purposely did it. That's how you know he's a kind of asshole. He's that asshole that knows he's an asshole. Damn it. He's pretty much me, but except that I'm not that rude. Rude about it. Yes, I openly admit that I'm an asshole, but hey, uh, it's what happens when you're a human. When you're a human, you're a bit of an asshole. No matter what you do, you are semi semi being an asshole to someone without either intentionally doing it or without realizing it. Or you're doing it on purpose, and in my case, I tend to not realize it, or if I want to mess around with my friends, I do it a bit on purpose. <laughs> Honestly, beautiful, beautiful landscaping. Not to mention beautiful lighting, too. Aww, Blitz sees a beautiful fire horse. Honestly, I see it's eating a good carcass. Hold on a sec. Let me just see something. Uh, no. So, in the background, I saw a picture of Millie's family. Ooh, and it's still there. First of all, who leaves their room unlocked? Well, I know that I do it in my house, but hey, it's just me. Me here along with my roommate, and I know my roommate's not going to take anything from me. Since if they do, well, well, honestly, I'll just annoy them to death until they give, give me the thing back. But granted, that's just me. Honestly, that's a cool reveal, but I need to logically ask. I I do admit that that was a cool reveal, but logically, how did Shriker do that? Like actually, there. I know this isn't a portion that's like there. I know that. He must have just quickly walked up, leaned against the door, door while the camera was spinning around Moxie in order to have completely done that, but other besides that, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's continue. Did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Why do you have this, mister? You are aware this kind of weapon can kill demon royalty. Here's where we get the fact that angelic weapons can kill demon royalty. Quite honestly, that doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, if that's the case, how come the angels hadn't killed killed all the other, others yet? I understand that Lucifer and Charlie can't die to it, but that doesn't mean that uh, the other demons can't, and such as Osmond. <laughs> Osmodius, uh, who else? Balfagor, maybe Beelzebub, no, Beelzebub, definitely. Uh, Leviathan, although he's basically a giant sea, sea serpent creature. But anyways, let's continue. Yes, that. No shit. That's kind of the point. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm relatively concerned by your possession of this. I'm also glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. Moxie, stop trying to make yourself seem cool and just worry that you're about to die. Uh, yeah. As obviously, what you should have done, turn around, grab the gun, shoot him. Shoot him, and since I do know that since imps clearly can die from just normal demonic weapons, while sinners can only die from angelic weapons, uh, yeah. Just use your weapon, and, and, yeah, you have a clear gun advantage, 
you could have shot him. Like, I'm not dumb for saying this, right? Like, he clearly had a chance to clearly have turned around, grabbed a gun, quickly shot him. Granted, I'm not sure if the gun's loaded or not, but granted, since I know the purpose of the gun, gun is there, there, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, uh, Moxie, I think, I felt like you messed up big time on this. I think Millie knows something's going on due to that face crack, but also I have seen other people get confused on this, so I want to clarify it. Since it's shown that all of her family is all outside of the house, and she saw Moxie in the house, and also a striker too, and a sound of a broken sign usually means someone's in a fight. Fight, since remember, they're in a place where war and war sounds are are very common, so hearing something break like that is going to be suspicious to someone. <laughs> Disadvantage of having a tail, and also didn't Shriker close that door? Or if he did, he did a horrible job. Wait, did he? I'ma just look back at this real quick. Actually, I swear that Yeah, he, saw, he closed the door. Oh, no, wait, now I saw it. Moxie semi-opened the door. Oh, and the perk, and the, and the difficulty of having a tail is that people can grab it. Well, at least you had the correct strategy, but honestly, Millie, I would have said go directly for the head, but but seeing that on how in your case, <coughs> sorry guys, sorry about that. Allergies have been killing me all all day. Anyways, uh. So, uh, whoever decided, decided that I get allergies, get allergies, uh, not the allergist, not anyone, anyone, not genetics, anyone, if there is such a thing as a cosmic force, decided to give me allergies, why the hell did you decide to give me that, and, and all allergies to people, it's annoying, but granted, it's nature, so, uh, so F nature, but at the same time, I love you, nature. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so you had the right, right thought process, Millie, but honestly, I understand that the writers wanted to keep Stryker in for Season 2. Yes, i seen the Season 2 trailer. We're going to react to that after Episode 8 drops. Drops, but that's honestly after I'm done reacting to, to, to this, alright? To the series, but for the time being, yeah. Millie, if you're going to aim somewhere... At least aim for his back. Because last I checked, the back is a very vulnerable part of any being. Being that isn't heavily built on the back with on a muscle, extra fat, stuff like that. And clearly, amps are more humanoid in appearance, so, so they really wouldn't have that much protecting, you know, their back. But a good side stab is actually quite effective, Dale. But, yeah, I did see her try to slice his throat, but, yeah. You kind of got to make sure you do that quicker. Oh. I just noticed the fact that, yeah, the blood's consistent to with being black for imps. And, yeah, I can see the bone out of her arm. Oh, man, that seems bad. 
I've, as a person who's never broken their bones before or had anything twisted, twisted in or heavily dislocated, I can safely assure you, I can't, I can't sympathize, I can't empathize with the pain, but I can definitely sympathize for it. A bear trap on the leg. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Anyways, but wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. I'd kill y'all, but I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Plus, you little things ain't worth the cleanup. <laughs> Oh, Satan. Moxie, I'm fine. I got worse than this during the flower toss at my brother's wedding. But I caught that fucking bouquet, and it was fucking worth it. You just... As a guy who's only been to a wedding a few times, several times I don't necessarily remember, but yet I have pictures of me being there, so obviously my mind must have blanked out on them. But... Apparently, like, the flower bouquet tossing thing is very important, but I honestly don't understand it, but, but, yeah. I have to get out there and fuck up that brown-nosing cocksucker for me, but I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Not with your hands, baby. Use what you're good at. I'm not good with my hands. Millie, your facial expression says it all. Yes, Moxie, I understand it. Yeah, you might be confused about that, but now's not the time to bring up sex. Yeah, your main goal now is trying not to get your boss's boss, basically, to be killed. Well, your boss's quote-unquote boss slash boyfriend, uh, end quote, to die. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's continue. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. How did you forget that you had a gun on you? A as an American that doesn't own a gun, but yet I've shotguns before, both rifles and shotguns, I can safely assure you that you wouldn't forget if there's a weapon on you. I, I probably should have used this earlier, huh? <laughs> I love you, hon. But for fuck's sake! <laughs> Also, I just noticed that in the Harvest Moon Festival, they got a bit of Stolas's, uh demonic summoning circle ring thing on it, but, yeah. <laughs> the more times I look at it, the more times I realize new things. Anyways, uh, uh, well, if he says this is the easiest way to get to Earth, this implies that there's some other ways people can use to... Uh, demons can use to get to Earth. Since Stolas is one of the demons of astrology, as I know that there is another demon of astrology out there in Darsh Asia, Asia, I believe. And I believe that that demon would be featured in either Episode 8 or Season 2, but yeah, it seems to me that, um, that, yeah, Wits has other options, but... Taking out one of the easier methods he has for for it, uh, yeah, that kind of seems to be a bit of a dick move. Yes, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia, only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when you could be slaying overlords. Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you when you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable? Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kind of hot. We could be the most dangerous beings in hell. Blitz. Wow, that was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping. Well... For the first couple of times I've heard that, I thought it... Uh, yep, exactly what I, 
what I think think he said yeah anyways uh yeah it's been work shopping at for first I thought it said your shot at first I thought striker said shots up I'm not sure why but I somehow had uh, Mandela effects that that's what he said shots up somehow that's that always catches me what fuck it Took you long enough, Mox! <laughs> wow, you should have seen your dipshit face! Whoa, whoa, okay, cliche much. Oh, you daddy fucker! You know when he's serious when he says you fuck the dad. You dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, huh? seem to have forgotten something, bucko. Aww. But wait, hold on. Are the games hosted at Millie's house? Or in that area? Because obviously the festival would have to be somewhere close by in order for the assassination by Sniper to be effective. Like, I would say, like... Given at best, and judging by the distance that they've implied, this is less than, I want to say less than half a mile, so yeah. Oh, fucking damn it, Luna. It's a damn shame, Blitz. We might actually have made a good team. Oh well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk. No! <laughs> Moxie, you had one job. I know that was a warning shot, but... Aim for the head or for the chest. Once again, as you said before, angelic bullets, if they can kill angelic uh, demon royalty, that means they can kill normal demons as well. It just isn't limited to... To demon royalty, as evidence is what the exterminators use on the sinners. I still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak little. You gonna finish that fucking sentence, partner? Vermin. Aww. A weak little vermin. I'm not sure why, but it always took me a long ass time to figure out that vermin actually meant like a nuisance. I'm not sure why. So like I've seen a lot of southern stuff. I'm not sure why I haven't picked that up. I'm partially southern. I should have known that. Who's weak now? Okay, I'm here. Aww. Plot convenience saves Striker, but at the same time, same time, Blitzo did it in advance, so. I wouldn't call it plot convenience, I would just call it story needed to save him, so they had a reason for Blitz to call Luna. Good storytelling, but at the same time, I kind of saw it as been interesting and a bit lazy, and I just realized that Striker was the one making the rattlesnake noise. Maybe you'll get me next time, Blitzy. Oh. I can't believe you let him trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? I was seeing red, Mom. Okay, let me see. Uh, what's the? I can't there is Luna, and what is Blitz is so excited about? Seems to be excited about something. Obviously, it bugs Luna, but. Yeah, Millie's leg is destroyed, her arm's destroyed, and they all got their normal clothes back. Well, at least it was fun. It was fun while it lasted while they weren't in their normal work clothes. Leave, you let him trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? I was seeing red, Ma. And he was slippery. Excuses. You're better than that, Mildred. You know, she protected me. And maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead. But Millie has...
has the strength enough for both of us. You two are getting on a case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired? Shame on you. Aw, oh, Moxie, look at you, speaking like a big boy with his big pants. Well, that what he said gave you a good nod. Wow, he nodded. He's never acknowledged your input before. So, is that progress? Uh. Hideaway Motel. Vacancy. That guy... That tried to kill you. Death isn't here. First of all, I know they mean definitely, but at first when I read that, I thought they meant that no one's going to kill you here. But second of all, just going to bring it back uh, just a tiny bit. I noticed on IP van, I IMP van, Witso kind of drew, had that, what do you call it, the stick figure? A bumper sticker sticker for the back window that usually represents family for dying P crew. It seems like it was detailed enough for through Luna Luna Moxie Millie, but for everyone but for Blitz, it's shown to be pretty bad for Blitz, but honestly that could be from him before. Anyways. Wow, he nodded. He's never acknowledged your input before. So is that progress? I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through. Make it happen! Oh, yes. Hello, angry British wife of Brandon Rogers. Whenever he plays a British dude on his channel. Oh, damn it. I need to react to that. Because I know that that's her. <laughs> But anyways, uh, yeah, so I can see that Octavia is just listening to music, and also I did not know that the voice of Octavia did also the singing for the My World's Burning Down Around Me in episode 2. I kind of realize that now, or if I already said that in, ep in my episode 2 reaction, I don't remember at the moment, but I'll figure it out sooner or later. Yeah. Last I check, if you want to make assassination plans, don't yell them at the person you want to assassinate. Or if you want, just kill them in your sleep. Understood. I'll get him next time. <laughs> Sweet victory. Anyways, I'm going to actually wet this well for one, although I do know that I usually say it out, but since quite honestly, I'm a bit tired at the moment, and yes, I do know that there's going to be a lot for me to say, say and there's not a lot of water enough for in my uh, water bottle at the current moment, and I honestly don't want to leave you guys hanging for couple minutes if I go down and refill my water bottle but for the time being I'm just gonna have the credits play out and I'm only gonna be giving a larger shout out to the voice actors but but I will but I will uh, try to get as much of, of it down to a lot of the workers on it anyways uh, well, it's produced and created by Vivian Monroe, aka Vizzy Pop. Written by Vivian Monroe and Brandon Rogers. Casting and voice production by Horse with Cowboy. You know what? F it. Fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say it anyways. Anyways, how much water do I have? Not a lot, but I'll make it count. Uh, anyways. Uh, casting director and executive producer, Timothy Cup Cummison. Voice director, Richard Horvitz. Producer, Austin Snyder. Casting associate, Brenda Marie Phillips. Sorry about this for a sec. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. My nose has been acting up. 
Anyways, uh, associate as <laughs> associate producers, uh, Wizzy My Michael and Christina Dimitra. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Dialogue recordist Matteo Bar Bargain. And Yahav Whitman, sorry if I pronounced both of your names wrong, and turns Inkia Hussan, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Christopher Meir, Ryan Trainer, Seth Hummerick, voice producer coordinator, Garrett Hansen, audio QA, Steph Stephanie Kumor, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, uh, Jake Gaskill, dialogue editors, Caesar. Caesar Monsigo, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, uh, and Belinda Hung, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, starring Brandon Rogers as Blitzo, starring the voices of Richard Mor Horvitz as Moxie, aka Invader Sim, Vivian Nixon as Millie, Erica Linebeck as Luna, starring Bry Bryce Pick. Pick Pick him as Stolas. X. I do have to say, Bryce is Bryce is a very good Broadway star. Yes, very good Bryce. Featuring the voices of of more. Sorry, sorry about this. <coughs> All right. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, Morgana Ig Ignis as Sally Mae. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Morgana. As I'm really, as I'm really sorry that I pronounce your name wrong, wrong, or if I didn't, uh, then that's shame on me for assuming that I did. But since knowing my, knowing my history with names, uh, name pronunciation, I don't do good jobs. So yeah, that's why I'm apologizing in advance. Uh, Sue Jan Cha Chase as Ma, aka Win, Edward Bosco, my favorite. My favorite radio demon, as Pa, aka Joe, and then Don Darrow Rivera as Wally Rackford, and Georgina Lee as Stella. Oh, that's who voices Stella, and that's her name. But man, she does a good job. Additional voices: Edward Bosco, Sue Jan Chase, Mark, Mark. Oh, sorry about this, Morgina again, Morgina. Ignis, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, and Jor and Georgina Lee, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Morgana, as I do respect the hell out of trans people, people, not, not due to any, any personal experience, it's just that I always feel bad whenever I mess up, mess up someone's name, and I tend to have more respect for people that are willing to willing to be different or try to change themselves for the better better due to their own preferences as long as it doesn't hurt anyone it's all right that's my views on on what anyone does all right other besides that uh yeah uh and special and special guest norman reedus as striker uh, Norman Reedus, I do know he played a guy on The Walking Dead. I forget who, but because I haven't seen the show, although I know what it is, I just haven't seen the show. I know the plot premise of it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, storyboard by Ang Fondra, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Bullock, Zach Grit. Gearing, sorry if I pronounce your last name wrong, Zach. Uh, hold on a sec. <laughs> Damn it! I hate these sneezes. Uh, Ariella Somerville, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Nick Swift. Uh, Beatboards, Al Pullen. Revisionist, Vivzy Bop. Damien, Damien, uh, give me a sick. Ud, er, 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 hold on a sec. I can do this. Erdiles. Sorry if I pronounce your name, your last name wrong. Damien. Hunter Braley. Samantha Ambrose. Uh, an animation supervisor Sky Henwood. Character lead animation Amy Hurd. 
FX Supervisor, Andrew Stador. <sighs> this is going to be long. Do I have enough water for this? Judging by it, I may not have all of it, but I'll try my best, guys. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, let's begin. Let's do this. FX. Usain Untoro, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Andrew Stador. Sil Silk. Carnigan Zarni, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Uh, Jace, Jason Wolfett, sorry if I pronounce your last name wrong. Mandy Lee, Lee Marilla White, sorry if I pronounce the first name wrong. And I know I'm going to butcher this either way. No, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Animators, a Amy Heard, Ashley, uh, damn it. I'm having such a brain fart now. All right, uh, Ashley Caballero, Tom Murray. I'm going to butcher this, but I'm not. That doesn't stop me from trying. Zian Hu. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Diego Maya Mia Mia Pat Pacheco. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Victor Gardo. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh. Tio Yi Hin, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I don't know how to pronounce many names correctly. Greg McHammond, Austin, Austin, damn it, why can I not say anything? Uh, Austin, come on, you can say this. Come on, Manny, say it, say it, say it. All right, all right, uh, after a little motivation for myself. Calista, sorry, if, I'm not sure why that took Calista. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Austin. Kevin Ryan, Philippa, Shill Borman, Hayden Brown, Julia School, Arya Grab, Arg Chicano, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, <laughs> David Hernandez Alverdo, Kimmy King, Hardrick, Hardrick, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Logan Niblock, Sky Henwood, Melina Morzrek, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Alice, Alice Sephiron, sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, Alice, uh, Theodora Canapé, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, I do not know how to pronounce many different names, I'm sorry about that, Aaron K. Keezer, sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, Aaron. Or, wait, is that Aaron? Yeah, I think that's Aaron. Uh, Carolina Pizzazz, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Carolina. Rafael oh, Co Conch R Rivera, sorry if I pronounced your middle name wrong, Rafael. Give me a sec. <laughs> uh, Victor... Victor, uh, sorry, 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 my eyes are a bit, bit odd today, is on our a bit affecting eyes, so, uh, Villardry, uh, Kat Skeeb, Tim Wirch, Ryan Hammond, Gab, Gab Miller, Anna Deal, In Between Animators, Sebastian, Velez Fadaro, sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, Sebastian. Emily Echeveria, sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong, Emily. David Hernandez Alverdo, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Cami King, Percent Rhodes, Sky Henwood, Moini Mosrick, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Tom, Tom Murray, Steve Dorian, Diego Maya Pancho. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Diego. Oh man, this is going to be a while. A little water left, guys. A little water. Clean up. Gabriela Perez is Bauer. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Gabriela. 
Brandon is is one Madrigal. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Brandon. Uh, hold on a sec. I just need to do something. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I had to answer a text. Uh, Emilio Rangel, Julio Mar Mar Marquez P. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Tom Murray. Uh, man, sorry about that, guys. Excuse me. I'm not that rude. Rude, but I usually try not to burp on camera. Alma Her Hera. Peria, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Adolfo Rodriguez. Uh, Kevin Marquis Bringa, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Kevin. Benjamin Satingo Avila, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Benjamin. Well, your last name wrong. A uh, Victoria Void, Stephen Dorian, Crescent Rhodes, Michelle Gracia, sorry if I pronounce your last name wrong. Dennis Snowy. Snowy Moreno, Samantha Amberes, Vladia Sun. Hold on, give me a sec. I can do this. Come on, come on. You can do this. You can do this. Come on, Minnie. You can do this effectively. Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry that I keep repeating that. I I need to motivate myself for this. All right. Vladia Sh Shinova, sorry if I pronounce your last name wrong, Colton Siemens, once again, Mr. Siemens, I'm sorry that people may probably have made fun of you. Anyways, uh, Joey Andre, Andre Diego Mia Petro, sorry if I pronounce your, your middle name wrong, Diego, or last name, sorry about that. <laughs> I am not language expert, nor name expert. Anyways, uh... Eddie Mead, Daniel Hoyo, sorry if I pronounce your last name wrong, Daniel. Matthew Mor Morte, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, Matthew. Uh, Sar Sarah Car Carmichael, sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Nicole Hermans Pandromo. Sorry for pronouncing your last name wrong, Nicole. Moet, Lydia, Segura, Kane Daly, Nick, Nicholas. How do I say this? Uh, Contras. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Quizen, Bubbles, Durian, Dramas. Sorry if I pronounce your last name wrong. Anthony Waite, Jacob McCaw, Vlad Eskov, C. Seen Dagmar Scout Scout Scoutaman, uh, B Ben Mangun, Paul Paul We We had Taunts. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Uh, Bennett Joy Forrest, M Emily Ekarov. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Emily Ekarveria. Backgrounds, Victoria Gwitterin Cardenas, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Benjamin Satego A, sorry if I pronounced your middle name wrong, Benjamin, Wing Wook, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Siguin, Ianar Gorio, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Kira Uni, Erica Rodriguez Garcia, Jane Walker, Fu Jingling, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, Vivian, uh, Vizzy Bop, uh, Nick Sp Spoko, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, Rebecca Reynolds, Background Weed, Sam Miller, Sam Miller, uh, let's begin, Prop and Character Weed, Jane Walker, Visual Dev, Plus Color, Plus Prop Design, 
the AFC Pop, Aaron Frost, Benjamin Satigo, Satego Avila, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Benjamin, Sam Miller, Celia, Celia Kaz Conquest, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Celia, Character Design, Celia Kaz Conquest, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Vizzy Pop, Vic Victoria Aldez, Uh, sorry about that. At uh, Aaron Frost, Carolina Pizzazz. Sorry for pronouncing your last name wrong, Carolina. Uh, Post production audio services. Atlas Oceanic Sound. Re recording mixer plus sound supervision. George Peters, sound designer. Rob Hargreaves. Sorry for pronouncing your name your last name wrong. Studio manager Kim Bowman. Sound under Kennedy Phillips. Uh, music by Jeff Jefferson Friedman with Matt with Matt Novick and Christopher French. Striker song written by Sam Haft, performed by Norman by Norman Reedus. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. Where is Norman? Compositing Colton Siemens. Once again, sorry about people making fun of your last name, dude. Mike, Michael Boggs, Melly, e. uh, Emily Abiella, Kate Winchell, Chell, Eddie Mead, when I can do this. Come on, come on, me. You can do this. You can do it. Finish it. All right. After motivating myself to finish this, I'm going to finish it. Uh. Lindsay Mesner, sorry for pronouncing your last name wrong, Lindsay. Uh, Chris, Chris Gavlin, Amy Goff, Ev David, Vic, Victoria A, A, no, Ev, Ev Davis, my bad, sorry about that, Ev. A Victoria Void, Sophia, Sophia Porto, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Reed Compositor, Sarah Several Fisher, Motion Graphics, Michael Boggs. PA services, Joy, Joy Z, sorry, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, special thanks, Adam. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Adam Nguyen, Amin El Elgarch, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Keston Howard and. And as we love, love long, scratch audio, uh, out, Allison, Maritza, and Anna Mandrano, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, Brandon Griegas, Patreon supporters, Spindle Horse Animation, and that was my reaction to Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 5, The Harvest Moon Festival. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you want. I'm not going to force you to subscribe, as honestly, I don't want to be a dick. Anyways, all copyright belongs to Vizzy Pop, and this reaction and all the music belongs to Jefferson Friedman, and I'll figure out, and all the annoying bits that do get cut out are are copyrighted by Screenwave Media. I know they're going to copyright me on it, so... So yeah, if you see any bits missing throughout the video, you know what happened. I think I mentioned that earlier. If not, I'm sorry. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.